Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul Neal, and I'm here to give you five players that I think should be in Stephen Kenny's squad on Thursday. Starting off with number one, Ryan Manning. I think this is an absolute no-brainer that he should be called in. I think with James McLean now playing with Wrexham, um, Ryan Manning's the one in form and... You know, he's played four games, he's already got two assists, he's been in the starting eleven a hundred percent of the time. And you know, Russell Martin brought him from Swansea because of what he brings to the team in terms of his assists, in terms of his goals, and in terms of his overall intelligence. Um I think this one is an absolute no brainer. Ryan Manning, I think he has to come in. Whatever the problems Stephen Kenny and himself had in the past, I think they should put them behind him because he's twenty seven years of age. It's not like he's twenty one, twenty two. Like he is getting, I'm not going to say he's getting on in age, but for a footballer, he's coming into you know his best years. So I don't understand why he couldn't be called up. Next up is Shane Duffy. He's played every minute for Norwich so far this season. Um, and that's uh, four games in the Championship and two games in the EFL Cup, playing 180 minutes in the EFL Cup and 360 in the league, which totals 540 minutes played already. We know that Shane Duffy, once he's fit and playing games, he tends to stay in the team for a long time. And I do think that he is someone who is a leader within the squad. And it'd be great to have his um, experience in the squad especially against two huge nations in France and Netherlands. I do think it's worthwhile bringing Shane Duffy in, regardless of whether he starts or not. I do think to have him around the squad, especially with Seamus Coleman missing, I think that would be huge. So I do think that uh, Shane Duffy is someone that should be coming back into the squad on Thursday. Next up on the list is Sammy Smoddocks at Blackburn Rovers. I think this is a player that Ireland needs to be looking at bringing in and, you know, building the team around because he is a player who creates chances and scores goals and he is that number 10 that we probably have been crying out for for so long many people have wanted Jack Byrne to come in and be that player but I see Sammy Smoddocks performing very well in the championship week in week out he's already got two goals uh, in four games and he's got one assist in that time and he's played all of the minutes for Blackburn so I do think that he's coming in and he's coming in in form which is important to be playing players that are coming in in form and they can take that into the international break. I do think that Smoddox, um has been kind of overlooked in a sense. I don't know why he hasn't been picked in squads. He was called up once and then a lot of uh, issues have happened. I don't know if it's whether it's his passport or whatever. But this surely has to be the time where he gets called up and he's properly looked at by Stephen Kenny and properly utilised. I mean, if you're going to... If you're going to go defensively against France or Netherlands, that's great. But if you have a chance to take the game to them in the last few minutes, what better person to have than Smorix to be coming in and trying to help us get usually an equaliser. But in this case, we'll say maybe a winner and have him there providing the likes of Evan Ferguson, Chiodosio, Bene, um, and whoever else is up front for us at the time. So I do think that like this is a player that we should be looking at getting into that squad for sure. Next on the list is Festi Ebozelli. I think we have a big issue at right wing back. I know last night Matt Doherty got two goals and an assist for Wolves in an EFL Cup game against Blackpool. That's great that he got minutes and that's great that he got a couple of goals and assists for his confidence. But uh, Festi Abazelli has been playing in the Serie A. He's already played two games um, and he played a Cup game as well on top of that. So, you know, he's starting against the likes of Juventus and coming up against some of the best players in Serie A. I do think that this is a chance in this international window to bring Festi in and give him a taste for it. I mean, he's as I said, he's already coming across some of the best players in Serie A, so why can't he come in against the likes of France and maybe pose a threat? Because I'm looking at Festi. Okay, Matt Doherty is likely to be the first choice, but if anything happens to Matt Doherty, you've nobody there. I mean, he, you might try and shoehorn Jason Knight in there, and he did do well against Gibraltar, but that's Gibraltar. I think if you're bringing in Festi to play in his natural position in either of those games, you've got a player there who he has something to prove. I mean, he's still very young, so why not give him the experience? He's 21 years of age, so why not bring him in? That's a position where weak in because Seamus Coleman in, is injured, and Matt Doherty hasn't been playing that many minutes. But hopefully that would change after Matt Doherty's performance last night. But I do think that Festi has to be in there, at least as the backup uh, right wing back in that scenario. Um, let me know what you think on that one in the comments. And then last one is is Aaron Connolly. I think this, again, like Smoddox and like Festi, I think you've got to be bringing in players that are in form. I think Aaron Connolly, three goals off the bench 
in four games he's played. Um, he hasn't started a game yet, I know that, but that's where we could be looking to utilise him, is that if he's coming off the bench for us, obviously Evan Ferguson would be the main man, and probably Chidozi beside him. So I think, why not have Aaron Connolly in the squad as a threat? Because, like, Troy Parrott's not doing too much at the moment. Um, Callum Robinson either. And ne- Obafemi's out injured. So bring in Aaron Connolly. And, you know, the, the thing about Aaron Connolly with his pace is you can play him on the left-hand side, you can play him through the middle, or you can play him on the right. So you have an option there to play Aaron across uh, the front three there. If you go with a front three, uh, sometimes Stephen Kenny goes with a 3-4-3 three, three, and then the 3-5-2. So he has an option to play him as both. So I do think that Aaron will come in and bring that versatility as well as a goal threat. And he's very eager to get his first Ireland goal. And I'm sure he's very eager to get himself back in the Ireland squad. Because, you know, he came back in last year, played for the 21s, and his goal was to get back into the Irish squad, the, the senior squad. Again, he's 23 years of age. It's it's time for Aaron now to start getting himself into that Irish team, being an Irish regular, and showing what he can do, like he's been doing at the championship level with Hull. I think he's one of those players who you need to show him a bit of love, and he returns it with the likes of goals. So, yeah, I think um, I often refer back to the game against Portugal where he's such a threat. So I think we need to bring him in to this squad and I think it makes total sense let me know what you think of this list in the comments and would you agree and is there anyone I'm missing that you might want you know back in the squad who you think yeah he's a dead cert to be called up on Thursday let us know your thoughts in the comments don't forget to subscribe as well please it helps the channel and don't forget to give it a like as well if you like the video it helps the channel grow 